Good afternoon, everyone. How y'all doing? Thanks for stopping by and tuning in, as always. So, it's got me a trip, train trip, not too long ago. Pick up in Selma, well, it's a Selma, it's a Selma, it's a Selma assist in the yard. So, not going over the road, drop to, from yard to yard. So, picks up for three o'clock. So, I'm heading that way now, just leaving the house. So, I'll hit you back up when I get there. Alrighty, so made it here to the yard about five minutes ago, and just like that, there is no van available. Um, just got off the phone with dispatch, tried contacting my my boss, Good. I want this to be another late trip or a late pickup for pickup. So they're working on it now figure out where the other van is because that van should have been back or along with another van or something but only because the other existing drivers that have been working here for some time and even the driver I mentioned last night who's worked here for the last few years they they keep the vans and that's something that we can do but only if there's enough vans to cover enough trips that come out you know and even for the new hires or rehires like myself so this is so yeah this is the Selma yard what it looks like in the daytime up ahead is I-95 we're just east of the bridge 95 bridge all the way back there that, that runs parallel east of highway 70 all the way out to New Bern and then to uh, all the way out to New Bern and then up 17 to Chocowinity in Washington, North Carolina. They have a yard in Chakawini as well and over in Aurora, which is the Outer Banks, eastern North Carolina, so from the Atlantic Ocean, so. But yeah, so waiting to hear back from dispatch about this uh, other van, because it's, it's the van that I've had the past two nights now as of the whole weekend. I thought I was supposed to be off today, but I got as far as 12 hour shifts, or doing as of doing a 24-hour period because they changed again because of COVID. So, um, but there's a new hire who works Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So my schedule is about Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So well, I'm not turning down no trips for nothing. So I just want to, you know, be sure, like I told, to make sure that I hope there's a van available when I get here. Well, it's not here yet, so. Um, I will update you uh, in a bit or soon, uh, you know, because it's it's two fifty six now. So I was gonna talk to the train yard master over here in this uh, this building right there. Um, find out what's going on, because sometimes they'll just pick up their own crews here locally and take them to and from the hotel where they need to go or be. And that's that, but this here is an assist. Assist just meaning that th this is for the locals. They're just moving train cars around for the OTR, or OT, I guess that's over the rail, over the yard, uh, train crew to work and operate their train all the way back to their yard, you know, in a sense. But, oh, excuse me. All right, so I'll go ahead and stop the video here. Like I said, update to all uh, um, on what happens next. If I'm still going on with this trip or not, because it's pretty much I done wasted my time coming here. Because I can't go across the railroad crossing because it's blocked. Because they're, like I said, they're working on the rail. So, in case, so uh, just a quick tip um, that if you all wondering why, yeah, having to sit at a railroad crossing for so long, that's the reason because they're coupling and uncoupling train cars and that can take anywhere from 35 minutes up to an hour 
It just all depends on how many trains. Not all trains, but half and half. But they usually carry with around 50 or more plus train cars. So, including the caboose. But, um, yeah, that, that's a long process. It's nothing like coupling and uncoupling, dropping and hooking and unhooking a, a tractor trailer. You know, trailer to a tractor, so, truck. But we talking about train cars here. So, with some of them empty, loaded, loaded, empty, with petroleum, gas, oil, whatever, refrigerated. They got refrigerated train cars, believe it or not. Um, yeah, so they're still here working. And, uh, yeah. So. All right, I'll hit y'all back up. Now. All right, dispatch just called me back. And, because it's now two minutes after three. So, trips are already late, um, as is, but the driver is five minutes away, so they'll go ahead on with the trip. They could have just get, given the trip, then really, I mean, to that driver, if the driver was on the way now to the yard or something, I don't know, but um, like I said, I'm already on the board as is, West you. <sighs> Once you accept the trip, uh, you know, they automatically put you on the board. I was off duty after eight hours of rest. So, um, cause like I said, I thought I had today off as well, but, uh, they, well, I was told by the trainer, they call you anyhow, anywho, whether you're on the board or not on duty or off duty. And I remember that in the past, um, you know, like a train a tra train trip they, they desperately needed a driver on and so and so perfect example over the weekend when I went to I say Spartanburg Greenville Greenville South Carolina yard uh, Norfolk Southern and the Amtrak share together um, that driver who assisted me in getting fuel using his fuel car their fuel car since the one I had to shut off or whatever but he was like yeah we desperately desperately need drivers to cover their air for their area so I was like well I wish I could but I don't I don't stay out here unfortunately I stay all the way over here so but yeah that's the uh, update the drivers on his way should be pulling up any moment now and uh, we'll add some more to this Alright. Alrighty folks. So I just pulled up to the eco yard. Um was the, they were delayed for an hour back at Waco. I mean Wake. And Waco, that's a little area between Jacquinny and Newburn actually. But uh delayed they were delayed for an hour at Wake and Clayton because of Amtrak uh passing by. We're on his way passing through from the Smithfield Selma station over to Raleigh station and I guess down to Charlotte, Atlanta, so on and so. Um, but it just never fails. Uh, Amtrak always passes. And, and Amtrak doesn't operate or own, they don't own any railroads. That's where the freight companies come in Norfolk Southern, CSX, BSNF, CN, Union Pacific, and many others. So, but uh, usually around this time of day when I pick up a crew and they're going to take their train back to their yard and stuff, Amtrak is usually passing through. So, Amtrak has the right of way, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember last time. Um, and then the freight train crews can proceed on down after that. So, because um, at the end of the day, Amtrak is hauling passengers, their passenger train car crew. All these freight train companies are just pulling freight of all sorts of all commodities, just like tractor trailer drivers, you know. So, but uh, so yeah, I'm with them now. Well, they pulled up not too long ago, they're all the way down there. Um, this is what the Waco yard looks like. And when you do an assist, you hit assist, and it just says assisting crew from one stop to the next. So, it's just two crew members I pick up, an engineer and conductor, so. Um, so yeah, opposite side. Um, 
is where as far as to meet them around and stuff because they have it's these are yard tracks of eco so again they couple and uncouple these train cars not one by one but half and half and they back them up in here um, again because this is the oil and gas rig terminal station there's a gate code you need to get in which I already have so um, I let myself in but uh assisting them by yeah going to uh each rail uh track yard tra track and then go from there um supposed to still as far as i know go out to kinston so i will hit y'all back up when uh we head out that way all right Alrighty, folks we are here at our next stop Kinston, Kinston, North Carolina at Sanderson Farms. Chicken plant. There's a train right there. It's two engines. It was like 80 cars. Uh, across the street is the Smithfield plant. Um, so I'm assisting them over here. They're pulling the train as far as I know. I had to back to set the Rizzi. Powhatan crossing in Clayton or back to Selba. Oh, yeah. oh excuse me. But uh I had to assist them by the time they leave out that way. And um if I had to pick them up all the way down there or just be released from here, I don't know yet. I have to wait and see. So I'll check in. I'll check back in with y'all later. Alrighty folks. Just back in on the check-in. Back in on the check-in. So, completed the drop-off at Kin Kinston earlier. And uh, made my way back all over here now at Powhatan. Powhatan. P-O-W-A-H-C-A. Something like that. Powhatan. Powhatan. Of Clayton, North Carolina. Crossing. Um, the crew has not arrived here yet, so they like said it would be a while originally before they left the Kinston um, plant from Sanderson Farm. So, um, meanwhile, bought dinner, uh, Smithfield's chicken and barbecue. So, I'm going to eat that while I wait. Uh, I'll talk to you all afterwards. Cool. Alrighty, folks. They just literally pulled the train in here at Powhatan, crossing the Clayton. And it is 11 27, 23 27. Military time, Eastern Daylight time. And it's time to take them back to their yard, which is not too far here back in Selma. And then I am going home because then I got two more hours drive time I can't go over 10 hours so but um I don't think there's any other trips as of tonight so go ahead and pick them up and we'll go from there Talk Stream Entertainment Michael Carter Studios and Productions